Red Feather from Grepax. In this Krita video, we will be showing you how to create a Krita stamp. The first part of this video was created using Krita stamps, although it is a little rough around the edges. Open Krita, create a new canvas. Once your new canvas appears, it is up to you where you get the item to make your stamp. You can draw or paint one or use a PNG image. As I will show you, the procedure is the same. Go to File, scroll down to Open, and click. Navigate to where the PNG image is saved to and click on it. Once the image appears on your Krita canvas, go to your Krita toolbox, go to the rectangular selection tool, and click. Go to your canvas and draw a box around the item you would like to make your stamp of. Once this is done in Krita, Go back to the toolbox and click on the brush tool. Then in Krita, go to edit brush and click. If you are not on the brush tool, you will not be able to enter edit brush. Once the edit brush window appears, click on predefined. Scroll down to where it shows a plus sign and says stamps. Notice it says if there is no box present it will make a stamp of the whole canvas or image. Click the Krita plus stamp. When the add stamp window appears you should now be able to see the item you boxed or the whole canvas or image depending on how you have chosen to proceed. Notice the image in the Krita Add Stamp window. Appears to have lost all of its color. Look at the box that says Create Mask from Color. What this means is from the color picker. So whatever color you have selected in the color picker, with this box checked, that will be the color your stamp is. So, watch as I take the check mark out of the box, it uses the original color. You might also want to give your stamp a name, or it will assign random numbers for the name. Once this is done in Krita, click OK. Go back to the Edit Brush, click on Auto. Go back to your canvas, go to select, scroll down to deselect, and click. Close out of the image. When asked to save, I will say no because I already have the image saved. Once this is done, you will be returned to your normal canvas. Go back to the Credit Edit Brush. When the Edit Brush window appears, click on Predefined. Once the Predefined window appears, your new stamp should already be selected. If not, click on it, then go to the scratch pad to the right and give it a try. Then adjust the size as needed. Once you have adjusted the size, on the scratch pad and you like it, then it is time to bring it to your canvas. Once back on the canvas, decide where you would like to place it and give it a click. From here it is smooth sailing. You can add a background or even change the background of your Critic stamp or have the same color of the background 
in your stamp. It is really up to you and your creative ideas. I hope you have enjoyed this credit tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? And ring that bell in order to receive notifications of newly released videos your way. <laughs> I mean, ladies and gentlemen, after all, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abeyu1. Thank you in advance. I am out.